Thank you for joining me. Tonight we're going to walk through Psalm 23 together. This is based on a bedtime meditation I created for my sons to help them sleep. I hope it blesses you like it blessed my family. First, find a comfortable position. Lie back, relax, close your eyes. Get the pillow and the blanket just right. Make any adjustments now so you feel comfortable and cozy. We're going to start with verse 1. The Lord is my shepherd. Imagine you are standing in front of Jesus. The light emanating from him is so bright and warm. God is love, so the light coming forth surrounds you with absolute acceptance and love. I shall not want. All your needs are being met in this moment. There is nothing more that you could want. Let go of the cares of the world and fully focus on standing before the Lord. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. You notice that through the light surrounding Jesus, you are standing in a beautiful, verdant meadow. There's a light scent in the air of freshly cut grass and roses. But you have to breathe in deeply to catch the aroma. Breathe in slowly, expectantly for that soft, lovely smell. Let your belly rise as your lungs fill with air. Slowly breathe out like you want to hold on to God's breath in your lungs. Again, breathe in slowly, letting your chest rise with the inhalation and slowly breathe out through your mouth. As you breathe in, breathe in the light and love of the Lord and exhale your worries and negative thoughts. Breathe in peace and joy and contentment. Exhale tension and irritation. Breathe in gratitude for the moment, for this presence before you. Exhale bitterness and disappointment. You are safe and you are loved. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Beyond the meadow you notice a beautiful pond. The water in it is so still. The trees on the other side are reflected. The light of the Lord is reflected on the surface of the water. You feel your body becoming still like water. You are reflecting the light of the Lord now. He restores my soul. You are enveloped with warm love. You feel your body overflowing with joy and peace. Any stress or bitterness or anger you felt today is in the past. It's been pushed out of your body and replaced with a euphoric peace. You feel overwhelming gratitude for this comfortable place to meditate and you are in awe of being before Jesus. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You can completely relax because the Lord is in control. You do not have to worry about your needs being met because everything you need has been provided in this moment. You do not have to worry about where you are going because Jesus is before you and we are going to follow him. You notice that Jesus has turned and is walking and beckons you to follow him through the green pastures. The dirt path is narrow 
but just wide enough for you to walk behind Jesus. You notice the path goes narrowly between two mountains. The sun is setting, but the light of Jesus illuminates the path. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The sides of the mountains are dark, and the shadows could play tricks on your eyes, but you're not looking there. You are looking straight ahead at Jesus. You feel safe and protected. The one who created the earth with a word can surely protect you from anything in it. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You are so full of love and gratitude. There is no room inside your body for fear. You feel so appreciative to be following the Lord and walking under the protection of his wings. You notice you have passed the mountains and there is again a giant green field stretched out as far as you can see. Up ahead you can see, you can make out a pergola or is it a pavilion? There's a large wooden structure with hundreds of little lights strung around the beams and the supports. Now that you are past the mountains, you look up and see hundreds of stars in the sky, and you marvel that God knows them all by name. He knows your name. Thou prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. As you approach the pergola, you see that there's a large table and chairs underneath. Jesus invites you in. What is the table made of? Is it wood? Marble? Lying down the center of the table are bowls of food. So much food. If it's your favorite dishes, what are they? Breathe in. Smell the food. Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Sit down at the right hand of Jesus. You feel the peaceful bliss at this great honor of sitting with a Savior. You feel love overflowing from your body. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Take a moment to savor this precious time together and remember that every day you can choose to follow Jesus, to come back to this place, to dwell in the house of the Lord forever. My time with you has come to an end, but I invite you to stay in this place with the Lord and fully imagine how wonderful it feels, how good the food tastes. You are sitting with Jesus what would you ask him? What would you want to talk to him about? You are safe and you are loved.